for five marks. Hello. Simplify the following. Okay. So when I when I when you look at this, you can just remember the following steps. Make sure that all of the bottom parts, or let's first talk about the absolute basics. If I'd said one over three plus one over five, what would you do? Well, well done if you said you would get a common denominator. Whenever you plus and minus fr uh, fractions, you need to get a common denominator. So that's um, that's a, that's an important step. We need to get a lowest common denominator. But to get your denominators, you have to make sure that they are all factorized, okay? So this one can be factorized, and this is a trinomial, so that can be factorized. So that'll be our first step. Let's just go factorize. Because if we don't, then you're going to tell me, oh, these two parts are completely different. But maybe they're not. If you factorize this, maybe it ends up looking very similar to that. Okay, so x plus 7. Now, if you factorize this, it's a trinomial. So let's factorize that over here together. So we look at the number 6. Now, we know that the number 6 can be written as 2 times 3 or 1 times 6. Now, which one should we choose? Should we choose the one and the six, or should we choose the two and the three? Well, how do we work this out? What we do is we look at this term here in the middle with the x, and we try to make minus one. So you cannot make minus one using these two numbers. Like six minus one is five, one minus six is negative five, one plus six is seven. You're not gonna be able to do it, so it's not that one. So we're gonna use these two. How do you make minus one? Well, you say two minus three because that gives you minus one. So we're gonna open up uh, two brackets, okay? And we're gonna say x and x, and then we're gonna say positive two for this one, because it's positive in the front, and then negative three. And that is how you factorize that part. Okay, look at that, x minus three, x minus three. Ooh, something similar. Okay, now we're just gonna leave this part because this is already factorized. Okay. Now here you can take out a common factor. A lot of learners forget about that. And look at that, x plus 2, x plus 2, hashtag just saying. So you guys must look out for that, okay? Now, to find your lowest common denominator, all you do is you just take all the different parts. So there's an x plus 2, we've got one of those. So that takes care of that and that. There's an x minus 3, that takes care of that and that, and then there's this random two, which I'll just put in the front, and that takes care of that. Okay, so we've taken care of everything. So now what you do, okay, in the next step, you need to make all of these denominators exactly the same as that. So what that means is the following. It means that for this part here, if you look at this part, what is it missing? Well, it's missing the two. So all we'll do is we will put the two there by multiplying, and then what you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. You see how I put a bracket? Because if I just put a two there, then you would only be giving it to the x. What about the seven, bro? You gotta be fair, so you gotta put it in a bracket so that in the next step, we will give it to both. Okay, excellent. Now we look at this part. Now look at this, what is it missing? Well, it's missing the two, and it's missing a x plus two. So what we'll then do is we'll give it the two and we'll give it the x uh, plus two. Okay, you see how I used brackets? Because if I didn't, things look really awkward. Like, like what is, what is, what is that, bro? Come on. So you gotta do that and you gotta do that. Now what you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. So we're gonna give it a two, Don't put a bracket, otherwise you're gonna think it says 23. And then we're also gonna give it the x plus two. Okay, now we look at this last part. What is it missing if you look at um, if you look at this part? Well, it's got the two, and it's got the x plus two, but it doesn't have the x minus three. So we'll just give it the x minus three. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And there we go. Now, what we are going to do is we're just gonna put one long line, okay? And you're gonna put the bottom part like that, but we're not gonna multiply the bottom part out. It's weird, right? I know that when you simplify, you're supposed to get rid of brackets, but not in the denominator. For some reason, we, we um, as mathematicians, they love to keep the denominator in the um, factorized form like that. 
But at the top, I just want you to go write everything out now. Please don't multiply anything together yet. Um, it's gonna cause any, some issues, trust me. So then what you do is you just say minus, and then you just say two times three times x plus two, and then you just say plus, there we go. Now at the top, we have some work to do. We have to go get rid of all the brackets at the top. Okay, so at the bottom, we just keep it as it is. Okay, I hope I have space. So you're gonna multiply this two into this bracket, so that's gonna become two x plus 14. All right, my apologies, I had to go make a bit of space. So I erased the one step um, and now I've got this. Okay, so that means we have two x plus two and x minus three. Okay, so as I said, we're gonna multiply the two into that bracket, so you become two x plus 14. Now here, just put these two together. So that'll just be negative six and then x plus two and then multiply this out, so that'll become two x minus six. Let's quickly do the step over here. So, uh, minus six times x is gonna be negative six x, and then minus six times positive two is gonna be minus 12. So minus six x minus 12, minus six, whoa, Kev, minus six x minus 12, and there we go. Okay, now at the top, you're just gonna put all the like terms together. So you've got a x, another one, so that's two minus six plus two. So two minus six is minus four, Minus four plus two is minus two. Okay, uh, let's actually just write the answer here. What did we say? Two, yeah, minus two. Okay, and then we have 14 minus 12, which is two, and then two minus six is minus four. And then at the bottom here, you are going to do this. Okay, now you just need to do another little check at the top to make sure we can maybe factorize further. And in fact, we can. We can take out a negative two, and then you'd be left with x plus two. How do I do that? Well, check here. If you multiply these two together, what do you get? Negative two x. And if you multiply these two together, you get negative four, which is what we had. Now, the reason I did that is because if you now look at the bottom, we have things that can mo that can cancel out. So here we're gonna have those cancel out and the twos can also cancel out. And so for our final answer, you're gonna have minus one at the top because there's nothing there except the little negative. And then at the bottom, you're gonna be left with x minus three. And that is our final answer.